Hi and welcome to Python tutorial. In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an exe file. So let's start by session for our command prompt and right there, right click on the command prompt, run as administrator, click on yes. There. So the next thing you want to do now is go back to start, click on start, and where we have the Python IDE, right click on it, select more, and click on open file location. There we go. And there, what we actually need is the file directory itself. So let's come here. It's not in the right place, so we might as well just go to C. Go into program file. 86 and there we should be able to see python there we go that's where it's installed and the file we actually need is the script file okay so on the script file what you want to do is hold on to the shift key hold on to the shift key right click on the file itself and select and click on copy as part there we go all right now the next thing you want to do is right up here in, on your command prompt enter cd and paste the part that you've just copied and press enter there we go see that's the part that we just copied now what we want to do is to install that's pi install Hi, installer. There. And you just need to now press enter. Once you enter pi, installer pi. Okay, click on that and let's see what's going to happen now. There we go. So, what it's actually saying is that the file already exists because I've officially installed it. Okay. That's how you install it anyway. And if you want to verify, all you just need to do is, if you want to be sure that your installation is correct, you can just style, you can just type in pile installer and press enter and see what's going to happen. There we go. All right. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is let's clear all of this and just, or let's say D I R enter that then these are all the files inside the directory itself okay we can clear that out if you want the choice is yours so I'm just gonna play it and right there now what we want to do is we actually need a particular file and that's my restaurant file so I'm gonna close this and let's go to the directory where I have my my restaurant let's close that as well and right here somewhere i have it on the desktop oh yeah there we go it's right here that's the file itself that i need i need this very part okay let's go in here so right here okay hold on to the shift key right click and copy that very part there and let's go back to our command prompt right inside our command prompt what we want to do is change the directory to the part we've just copied and press enter now the next thing is to officially install so let's say pi installer we want to install the restaurant okay so to install the restaurant I'm going to say File installer dash I no let's say dash W so that we don't end up with the console space dash F okay which means we only need just one single file there space dash I and that is to do with the icon. Let me show you guys the icon before I continue with the installation. 
and right here that's the icon we also need the directory of this icon so i'm going to hold on to the shift key right click on the icon and copy the path because i need that now back onto my command prompt right there paste the directory okay which include that of the icon space we now want to enter restaurant dot p y and press enter there we go see that guys now the file is building up all the necessary data required to convert to convert that particular file to an exe file There, compilation is successful. Now let's go to the file. We should be able to see four different files. One, two, three, four. You can see my icon right in there. Look at that. So double click on that. And that is my restaurant. So double click on the restaurant icon. There we go, guys. Look at that. I'm going to close it. Double click on it again see what will happen now there we go and that is how you create your own exe file in python okay so let's come in here add some data click on total there we go All right okay let's add some data here guys and click on total there we go guys so it's working as expected so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys 